Okay, so today I need to carry on with uh, refactoring of loading. Now, I've got a fair portion of what I wanted in. Uh, it's not great. I mean, it's better than it was. I'm pretty enamored with it, but it's not quite there. Uh, for one thing, I've lost the ability to do asynchronous uh, loading, which is not a good thing uh, at all right now. So, <clears throat> that means right now uh, that, what was I going to do? I was going to, I used to have the loader used to be responsible for, let's just close that up, asynchronous uh, jobs on a per loader basis. But that's not really great because I really want to change it so that collision shapes are the ones that are responsible for it. So. Uh, something along the lines of once this happens, then I think once this happens, or maybe I can actually throw that into a separate thread. No, no, no. Keep that in line. And then this can be the part. Uh, load resource. What? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After you uh, secure it, then you can go into an asynchronous uh, job. The problem is I don't have the function, the pointer, or the context to do that. I used to be able to do it through loader, but that's like after I already kind of... And especially like that won't work if I also have like separate uh, things for importing. So, <clears throat> that means... What am I going to do about that? Okay, what I'm thinking then is if I bring it in as part, so I have the asynchronous uh, job brought in as part of the core, but I have it as part of the initialization info. What I probably want to do is kind of change it up. It's a standard function. Yeah, okay. That <sighs> kind of makes sense. Yeah. Hmm. No, because uh, I need it when I create the pool, right? Not on initialization, but on creation. Yeah. <clears throat> so I need a new kind of thing that's like struct. Oh, simulation, create info. I think I had something like this yesterday, but I kind of dropped it. I wasn't quite ready for it. So we move that into that. We provide that as part of the on create. Not register. When we're creating simulation and Okay, well, and then we go into the core where we are going to add it to the new sim state. Uh, sim state needs it. I mean, should it be on create info or initialize or init info realistically? Not. Hmm. 
maybe I should. For the resource pools, maybe it'd be better to actually add some kind of initialization. Uh, but like creation info already has. Hmm. Creation or info already has like the import function and the load function. at like construction time so I might as well yeah I'm just going to add it for now let's do that uh, when we're creating core we say hey you know new sim state create info equals equals that. That will have the function. Okay, let's uh, kind of fi uh, figure this change out at least. So we have that. There's basically nothing in there. There's no async function. Okay, okay. Okay. P in it info. So it's not that anymore, but it's hmm. Well, this is being provided anyways at this point because of the loaders are the ones requiring it. They won't require it for long. So for the moment, relation state. Uh, we'll change that up to be like that that means I need to change uh, this hmm okay let's not Rather, uh, let's go back to what was it here, right? So set that back, and we have we'll we'll just create a uh, plain old function. It's like void. That's it, right? That's the function, and we're just going to have it run immediately in line. But rather than uh, that's it, right? You're right there. It becomes this. Let's run the function graph. Uh, so this, that, like that, and we can just instead throw that in, right?
At this point, I don't have the function. That's not good. But I can just uh, provide that instead, right? Put that in, shall we? Dot p. Um, call it uh, I'm sorry application 284 where am I I'm right here oh yes this is gone now Does it blow up? Does it work? Come on, come on, tell me. Ah, uh, it destroys itself. Perfect. What? Just in time. What? What? Where are we? I'm so, what? Uh, okay. What's going on? Is it, is it something in here? Okay. Go, 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 go until the end, I presume, about here. Okay, good. We're good. Still going. Great. Okay. Can we get out of this function? No, we can't. When we're you've initialized simulation state. Okay, when we're initializing is when it's dying. I presume this is the one that's uh, having problems. Okay, and we get. Can we get back out? Okay, go into the next one, which is. These ones, which are components and systems. Okay, we initialize simulation state. Great. Here. Whoa. Okay, so it's about there. Around here or so. on this armature pool. That's where it's dying. Why would it die? It's just the function is that like the lambda fool. It's in here that's dying, right? It's this function. in here it's this that that's 
Okay, that's the problem. Uh, so something to do with the register here. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to make this a very generic function. Scrap that. This is a static function, run function, run function, run function, run function, run function, run function. Okay. these back that's not working not as I had hoped okay back to the baseline we're still good right we're, we're still we can still run right now like it's not some deeper issue I completely forgot about from yesterday I don't recall any leaving with any issues uh, nope we're good okay so something I introduced. That's kind of good to know. So Back up to core. I do uh, still want to do this. Struct uh, info simulation create info. Look at that. Great. Async job function. We're still going to have this. Okay, and we're still going to add this on the on create. We're passing simulation state, so that's kind of fine. We can just add it to state. This is a thousand, yeah, because this is like 256 uh, sets of importer and whatever information, right? That makes sense. Okay. Okay, we have that available. We can go back to what I was doing in the first place. We'll have to create these, obviously. Uh, import state. I want to, in the application, I have around here this. That, so I need another async task function. I need to move that up to about here. I need to move these around. Something like that. Put it there. Clang's dying. Great. 
not quite, but still soon. We have this. I'm going to have to uh, pass this in. Persistent that. That's the name. Yeah, that's the name of the thing. Search paths, async task function will pass that into import state. Um, give me that. got that go to CPP I'm gonna have this now right about here so I need to now provide this when I'm creating the thing create simulation Oh, it's the other way around, right. Ah, not rue. I will not rue the day. Okay, we'll have a couple of failures from the tests right about here. update the function destroy create that available in addition we still have the old create info stuff so or the init info with the async task function in there so what's going to happen now is in physics registrar here instead of going with this um, I need to pass it into the pool right right about there okay that can now be passed into shape do I still have the no I don't have it it's down whoop whoa where am I this
I am not really a fan of how deep this is going and how much space is being consumed by all this. One, two, three, four, five, six sets of pointers. So 32, um, sorry, 64, 64, 60. Oh my God. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff being consumed here for space. Uh, looks like um, Clang D's died idle. Yeah. Okay. Still, I don't like how much space this is taking, but let's get it functional, then I can start compacting it back down and working out a way to do that in a sensible way. Okay, so task function. We have that. So what's going to happen is... Have this as the last that. Got an extra thing here. Yep. So we got that, we got the async task function that's now being passed in on, or will be passed to creation. Back to collision shape, pass it in. Comma that. Which means we pass it in. That brings us back to the pool, which now also needs to like M async task function. And the other location down here. We've passed it in and through all the way. Almost. Like that. Cool. Okay, we have it. It's it's being passed through, right? It's good. It's great. Come on, show. no. Uh, I've got another thing with the registrar. The, when I create this pool, I need to pass in the p simulation state. Create info dot async dot function. One last thing. Okay, so we've got the async all the way through. Now I can actually get to work. Okay, for, no, 
First of all, make sure it that system's not going to die. Okay, good. It's all together. Now let us try to go to collision shape and try to turn this into an asynchronous thing. So right now this is all still to get uh, together. That's why it's never failing. It's because it's all uh, synchronous. So. <clears throat> Passes this in, that, and it runs this. And that. Which unfortunately does mean that it's going to create a standard function object which has some heap stuff. Which I don't really like, but I can do that there, and I can do the same thing here. That can be asynchronous. It's a false. It's just adding to another pool. Uh, adding to to be done next tick. So that's pretty cheap. This is expensive because it's going to this file system possibly and then loading. And the same deal for this. So these should be asynchronous. That's the point. So now we have asynchronous stuff, right? Tell me, tell me, tell me, please. Okay, yeah, so we tried to load it, uh, it several times in parallel, and it worked fine. A lot of times in parallel. A lot of times. And it didn't crash like it used to. I like it. I mean, I don't like the fact that it's taking up a huge amount of space on each resource. That's not great. And that's what I'm going to have to start dealing with next. Now, I want to see uh, build flow engine. If I try it like this, it's fine. Uh, we still only have 9672 bytes lost from other stuff. That's great. Okay, and then let's try to build it and release. Let's see, like, if we are running max speed, what on earth is going to is is going to fly? Like, how badly are the wheels going to fly off of this? So, pause, grab a drink while this is building. Okay, there it is. Now let's. Uh... That was a lot of attempts to running it in par uh, building it in parallel. A lot of attempts. Wow. And it was just fine. I like it. Well, at least it's fast. Okay, it's uh, uh, actually one thing I probably want to do is run it with the thread sanitizer. See how that goes. And see if it's going to complain about any uh, things. Okay. Whether it's going to complain about thread issues. There is a data race. Okay. 
on the application deinitialization inside Vulkan. So that's kind of outside of my scope. Yeah, what the hell am I supposed to do about that? Created, okay, this was created by me. No, it's created by Vul... Okay, it's internal to the Lid Vul Vulcan uh, library. I can't do anything about that. Otherwise, oh, there's probably actually more, hold on. Process of upload of mesh, okay, so this is stuff to do with uh yeah okay potential deadlock okay same thing here for mesh loader same thing for image loader okay so i've got uh possible potential deadlocks in several either items but i haven't gone through them yet so uh, i'll call that a victory or something to worry about later when i'm going through the others so we do that we go back to debug we go back to address rebuild pause again okay so we're back to here now so this is okay Again, this is this is a step forward. Now, what I really want to do, I mean, I have async jobs. That's good. Now I need to clean it up. I really do need to do something because there's too much stuff going on into the resource base. Too many functions, especially considering that these functions, they don't, they really don't have. I mean, I, they're here so that there's very fast access to them. Yes, but I don't really think that having them here is really worth like because this is these are like what well, okay let me re uh, open so I can get my uh, tags and stuff back. Okay, it just doesn't know. You know, 64 bytes, 64 bytes, 64 bytes, 64 bytes, and presumably 128 bytes or so. Bits, sorry. Eight bytes each. It's a bit much, especially to be on every single resource for functions that are quite rarely used. So what I, I mean, I already have them in the pool so what if I was to instead, because I used to just pass in the loader, a pointer to the loader, and then do stuff that way. I could probably lift these back out to the pool and just kind of do, find these in the pool instead. I mean, it'll. I need to have a forward declared pool in the definition, or a single context and a single. Which is a single context actually might just work. As long as I have something that's like the struct of. Uh, let's say it's a struct um, something like that and it's going to have uh, these one two three four or five items together in here like that I replace that with a semicolon
something like that instead. And then we have like a pointer to that instead here. So then we don't need two things, we just need one pointer. That's it, like we just have Realistically, that's a const. Realistically, that's also a const. These are uh, non-changing items. Then I can go back into the pool. And then I say, hey, I am and I'm private. Okay, let's just put it there. Great. I don't want to have it too far away. I just want it to be on the other end of the... If we can actually... Can, can we make it a part of... Close that up, close that up, close that up. I want it to be like a private of this. Whoops. Private that. And I include... that private that, that public that okay Okay, then it'd be, how would I do this? Or would it just be, no, okay, no, no, I could just do like P, right? P import context, that should be just transferred over. Unless I have to say like this, that, right? It's not a member base class. I actually have to do what I'd have to say like, hey, you know. Do this. Two, three, four, five. Sorry, not that, it's load context. trash these okay this now becomes
that p resource functions equals that instead much cleaner scrap those Okay, we do this. We got to go down to the collision shape and do the same thing here. So those from that. that along with that and that I've loaded it yeah I've already loaded that bit of memory so I can just keep going with the others at that point there to do this really uh actually no yeah i don't have to do this at all hold on that's why am i doing that that's awful uh i can just bypass and just uh, give a pointer straight to that this is already a mutex uh class so there's no copying of stuff so this, like that. It's just uh, that it, it's completely in line. I don't have to worry about uh, going in through another pointer. I can just keep it internally to this rather than having this and another pointer to somewhere else as well. That's a lot. I'm liking that a lot better, a lot cleaner, moving stuff through, and is far more extensible for even more items if I want to add more resource functions, rather than passing a whole bunch of things in. I can probably also, uh, I still need that. Um, Hmm. 
Okay, uh, resource base. I can probably change that to from. Let's open that up. Resource functions. We can kind of split that up a little bit. So we don't actually need to have it everywhere. that we have system error we have functional okay needs to be we don't need the resource base but we need the resource functions Okay, I'm just kind of rolling this around in my mind. Like, how much do I like this? Is this really like, this is good enough? Would this stand up like the test of use over time that I can think of, the basic cases that I can think of right now? Like this is a new resource base. I mean, that gives us a whole bunch of free functions. That's a const. So it shouldn't be changed, even if this is a struct like that. Post load function is what is dealing with, uh, yeah, is loading to false. 
So this is entirely done internally to here. So I don't actually need this to be publicly accessible. This doesn't really need to be publicly accessible either, right? Okay, hold on. What needs to be publicly accessible right now? I'm interested. I might actually be able to look at P-Trade info, state members, private, this is used in system to determine what this is. that let me double try it there okay that's a little bit better what else we got reference count okay uh, protected my apologies Or hold on, really? Let me think. Okay, it was a fun little exercise, but it's not worth it anymore. Uh, put this back like that. Uh, I'm not really going to bother with trying to isolate this, in encapsulate this stuff too hard. Okay, so we're good. We, we, we can build, we can run, it works fine. Leak issues, I know that. Yep. Okay, let's clear all this and just have a look at what I've got. This has been kind of shortened down a little bit. Uh, this stuff can revert that section. That's still that. Revert that. That's still asynchronous. Great. That's been updated a little bit. I need to. I need a um, better way to pass these guys into the shape pool. Um, 
That's that is better. That doesn't even have to be initialized. So it'll basically be assigned right away. Sync task has been moved up, yes, because I pass it in now through that. Okay, okay, so there's a few little things I want to do. So if it's functional, so do that. First of all, I need to add some. Uh... Actually, you know what? I'll add documentation uh, when I'm not recording or streaming. But what I will do is I wanted to change up the pool close these how it gets the functions since it's just basically passing in those things those functions directly sorry the pool rather I can just you know uh, just pass this in right one two three four five yeah it's basically this Make that const so it instead becomes m resource functions becomes like that. Close it up like that. I still need the definition or in order to have this internal to this so there's no real uh, but I would okay what I will do though is I'll move the constructor to actually be in here close that up I need to go back to resource base. It's a const pointer, isn't it? That's a const. That's const. Mm -hmm. Const, const, yes. Collision shape. Pass that, pass that, wait. Collision shape const, yeah. Go to this side. Const that, pass that three. Okay. Mm 
now we have this we have uh, this a bit more sense could be more reused across different types you know what no we'll just do this P get rid of that get rid of that comma and comma I mean, I can do it for the one that actually makes sense, but for the moment, this is just that, right? Okay. What else am I looking at right now? Uh, the Elden load, yeah, that still makes sense to keep in the data.
okay. Now it's time to start uh, committing some of this stuff. Some. Um, I'm not going to commit everything at once. That's a lot of stuff going on at once. So let's see. Core makes sense. Not necessarily core. Resource functions make sense. I do need a bit of documentation on this thing. data and okay we had that then we go to core. Data used during the creation of the simulation and related functionality. Okay. We add that to core. Yes, yes. Okay. We need to add. Not these, we need to add that. Whoops, no. Whoops, no, 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 that. Let's stage that. And stage this part. We need to add those. Um, import state that's been updated for that and so has this okay that's separate state has been updated with that yes that's not here neither is that Nope. Mm, none of this is really necessary quite yet here. Okay, so this is the portion I want to do right now. Fundamental data required. Such as
boxing emissions and Okay, we got that. Now this is hmm. Stage that part, stage this part. We can actually probably add that. So far less contention when
That's the idea. I don't know if it'll actually hold up. Like, I can already somewhat imagine maybe like having systems just have direct read write access to resources and get rid of this part of the loop. Um, but that still kind of leaves no 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 because especially on the unload I don't want I don't want the system to read it in let's say put a pointer to a collision shape into use and then have this decide to kick it out basically right away afterwards no no it should be in a phased system yeah it just makes things way easier for me my, my poor brain it, it needs some abstractions Okay, uh, now. Oh, this. This is still a whole lot of not really great. Okay, what, what's going on? P collision. Okay, I find the pool. I'm going through all of the, I no, I find the pool, I go through the resources, I find the resource, I say if it's that type, then spit that out to the file, which would be what? This is, what is this, collision shape? Where is this? That's the whole list. It's like 17, right? So it'll be the next one after this. Where is it? in a different one that's why yeah yeah yeah, yeah. great because it, it just sees export registrar it doesn't see the whole path cute fun um wrong one it never goes there how interesting Why? Uh, not here. In here. Okay. Great, we found something. Great. Let's, let's, let's do this. Um, okay. There are components. What is happening? Where is 17 gone?
Right. That is because, yeah, that's my own stupidity, isn't it? Because the data, it's not, I'm, I'm exporting the data A, which is all those resources. No, it's actually part of that. Okay, never mind. That should be that. <sighs> stop, 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 stop. The whole application. About an hour and a half. I'll probably call it after this. Let's make sure that it's, you know, spitting the straight data facts, yo, of what I expect it to be spitting out. Which is to say, it's also spitting out resource that. Yeah, there we go. Had the bad index ID. Classic. Uh, group, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Okay. Let's... All right, I need to figure out a way to deinitialize stuff safely, especially when it comes to graphics. But you know what? I'll actually come to that bridge later when I when I get to it. For the moment, I'm just going to do this. Just gonna pin it up here and not care. Put that up there. So I need that resource state. Yeah, I mean that could just stay here. Right? Yeah. for the office. I don't need to. Yes. Load a base. Yeah. System. Okay. Some slight changes. That makes sense. Realistically, this can probably be uploaded elsewhere. But I'm at the end of it for now. Whatever. These are all otherwise fine. different drive types. So what do we have for lines? So we added some line. Okay, let's.
Why do I why do I have the loader here? Oh, because loader's the thing with the resource base. Uh the resource create info. Now instead. Oh, that's another thing. I need to fix up error codes. One thing I do want to do while I'm actually here is how I have full phase collision like this. This is just, I don't like it. Do not like. Benefit, oh, better. When I know like how it's going to name Clash with other things, then I'll actually know how to name it. Realistically, so we do that. Okay, now I have. What do I need now? Okay. Now I am thinking in simulation because I now have the, it, with asynchronous resource or anything happening right now, 
if I decide to close those up in the simulation, I decide to call like deinitialize or destroy or something similar when I'm deregistering functionality, like anything like that. I need nothing else to be going on, especially like if it's, if I'm about to try to remove or deinitialize functionality or destroy functionality that is currently being actively loaded in another thread. I cannot remove that stuff until that is has completed. So what I'm thinking of now Um, okay, what I'm thinking of then, is the simulation state will have, let's say, was it um, there's a certain kind of mutex like a single right and like a sh is it shared I think it's shared let me double check open up the chromium mutex Again, of quite the rare operation. And I'd rather have, and again, it only really works, yeah. Yeah, shared mutex. Okay. Uh, simulation sync. this is a very rare operation to try to do creation or destruction and deinitialization so I'm willing to let asynchronous stuff just go through until until it's ready if I try to I may want to do a try lock, a little loop. Just have spit out. Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 Hmm. As I think this through. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to say equals create info. However, um,
going to equal, uh, this is going to be a bit fun. It's going to take this, is it? No, it's going to take that. The idea is that it does have to pass in a go to the core one of these, right? The idea being that I want to try to that that becomes that okay, passing that in function pass that yeah okay it was that So it becomes this, does it? Yeah, uh, it becomes this, uh, that, sim sync dot lock shared. Simulation state sync unlock share. Okay. Okay, it's 
block a shared mutex. The idea is that this is going to be called instead. Unless it doesn't work, of course, which is always very possible. No member named that. Yeah, that makes sense. seem to have worked. So I like that. Okay. Okay, that means the idea being when we're doing something like this, I have exclusive I'm sorry, this is a redefinition. Ah, yes, new lock. Um, So we do that, we lock this, then we need to de-init the simulation. Which requires us to do this, lock and unlock. And then same thing on destruction. same idea when I'm adding stuff I don't really when I'm initializing it doesn't really matter it's mostly when I'm deinitialization deinitializing and destroying things that really matter OK. 
Okay, let's see what. Let's actually put the stuff into here. That's true. If I'm trying to do important stuff, that also means I can't, I can't, oh yeah, 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 yeah. If I'm initializing stuff, especially brand new stuff, I also cannot run asynchronous stuff because what if the list of importers or the list of loaders is changed when it's halfway through? That's not going to work either. So I need to, I basically need to have this for all of them almost. Just gonna, yeah. Needs to. It requires an exclusive lock. Sync tasks are complete and
Okay, uh, I need a function. I need a call function. It's like, you know, acquire. It should already be here. It really should be from state. So uh, what we're going to do is Okay, we've got that, then we're going to try to do I already include as part of this, what do I bring in? Do I bring info? If I already do, yeah, then I'll just use the, chrono, the easy clock there. Sure, this is all I'm looking for, right? I just, I just need the time it was created and update, and I get the elapsed time.
got elapsed. Oh, Clang's dead. Restart. At least it's fast. Okay, easy clock, go there. It's elapsed. Uh, I can do duration type, so I'll just say, hey, it's a. Uh, No seconds, okay. Got to count. You don't actually have access to this? Oh, easy. Oh, high res, easy clock. System clock. Like that. place is here there we go so what's going on new lock can't do it on uh, that I guess Oh, uh, back up. Can I do this? Okay. So I'll go through each of these, add its items, we're on doing on create, and we unlock it, and we carry on. Mm -hmm. Destruction of the simulation is a similar idea. need to do the same thing on initialization of the of the of the thing so piece in state I need to do the same thing here. Restart. 
realistically at this point in time when i'm calling deregister functionality and stuff then no other operation should be being performed on this simulation anyways because i've taken it out of of regular looping and i'm trying to make modifications onto it right yes Hmm. So no new operations, no new asynchronous operations should be being performed at this point. Because the only one who can call async operations for loading resources in that is, are those who are being called from systems requesting resources to be loaded, but the systems aren't running, so no new async things, so I can safely acquire exclusive locks at this point. I know that no one will be waiting on me to release the, uh, the exclusive lock until after I'm already back out of here. And yeah. <sighs> So much stuff, so many little things. Okay, let's see if I can add a bit more information to this actually. Exclusive lock for okay. Realistically, when I'm creating, I don't even have to do this either, actually. So it's a bit cheaper. Let's uh, see how this decides to not work. Or, by some miracle, it does work. Okay, and we go back out, and then it terminates correctly. So. Acquired, acquiring exclusive log for deinitialization. We always get it after zero milliseconds because I don't really have much going on thing, but yeah.
Okay, now I'm going to end tonight with this. Needs to be a way to Okay. Oh crap, I, I missed that. Whoops. Fix that up. These don't matter. Now what I'll have to do offline is I'll probably add a bit more documentation and then I gotta that convert all the others to this new pattern, which will be just not worth even showing. It's just a repeat of what I just did for collision shape, but for the others resource types, it's really boring. Well, maybe not. No, it won't be boring because I got to deal with graph with deinitializing graphic stuff, which requires as part of the deinitialization process. I need to like wait a few uh, ticks for like graphics processing to complete before I can actually go ahead and. Hmm. Before I can wait, before I can actually properly delete stuff and then deinitialize and get rid of the functionality. That's going to be interesting. But whatever, that's next time. Cheers. <laughs>